Five acres of city-owned land will become a new training facility for police and firefighters. Law enforcement saying it is necessary. It's a necessary upgrade, but people living in that neighborhood say the development will disturb their peace. CBS 46's Haley Mason with a closer look at the controversy. The decision came after more than 20 hours of public comment, but finally Atlanta City Council approved plans for a new police training facility. We're here off of Key Road where the facility will go up on what used to be an Atlanta prison and prison farm. CBS 46 took you inside the current Atlanta police training facility where the ceiling tiles are falling from above and sewage coming in from below. An old building falling into disrepair. With the Council did last night really help move us in a much better space. Today, Atlanta police and fire departments are celebrating the city council's move to finally approve plans for a new training center. We traveled to the city owned property on Key Road, which will be the home of the new $90 million training center. We pulled back the kudzu to get inside the abandoned building, an old police farm. The place at the center of debate from conservation advocates to police supporters. We knew our officers were watching this vote very closely and we knew officers were, were waiting uh, for an investment in their preparedness and in their capabilities in every neighborhood. And so this was a great sigh of relief. We want to thank everyone from the communities, the business community, community leaders, the council and the administration for supporting this effort. The building will take up 85 acres on a 300 acre plot of land, which is in DeKalb County near the McNair High School community. Police and fire will attend trainings, meetings and classes there starting in 2023. The skill set that our firefighters and our police officers arrived to your home with didn't come with the uniform. It didn't come with the emergency vehicle that they drove in. The skill set they arrive with is through training. Uh, we have a progressive training program. The decision came after major scrutiny from some community members. Mayor Bottoms admonishing protesters who showed up at the home of council members claiming the project will destroy forest land. You call on the public comment line, but you don't show up at people's houses when their children are home are home alone as they were last night, or when they're caring for elderly parents. We're not taking the entire parcel. There are hundreds of acres there. We're taking, we're using 85 acres. There's still going to be an urban forest there. But I can tell you for me personally, when you bully me and you try and terrorize me, it's the end of a conversation, not the beginning. Overall, the move gained support by city and state officials who say they'll continue to work with the community. The city says it will prioritize preserving forest land and planting more than 100 trees as they go on to build this project. Reporting off of Key Road in Atlanta, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.